So at any rate, a, a, a past life clear would be somebody, because a, a clear is, an, is a, it, even though LRH says absolutes are unobtainable, that's a state that he called a homo novus. You're not even a human being. You're not even a homo sapiens anymore. Homo sap, as he calls it. You're a homo novus, which would be new man in Latin. And, uh, and uh, so it's a, it's a new state on the evolutionary track. So I'm more evolved than regular mortal humans. I was uh, declared to have been uh, somebody who had gone clear in a past life, which would have been my last life. Even though supposedly, the, you know, the tech wasn't there for somebody to go clear. In a well, you can go clear. Well, now Dianetics was written in 1950. And uh, he was talking about the state of clear in Dianetics. It was not until they wanted that they, I, I personally believe that, you know, it's just that there's always something being re-released because it never was quite correctly done or done or understood. And all the people who went clear last lifetime, even though they may have been on OT8s, are, were uh, pulled back in because uh, in new era Dianetics, which was a later way of going clear, uh, there, was, there was a different criteria. There were different criteria for what was a clear and getting rid of an engram, which is a whole thing. And so you had to go in and get all the postulates off. At your point, what, what, was the, what were you supposed to achieve as a clear? Well, here's the thing. I mean, this is a funny thing for me. And this is a, I mean, if you read Dianetics, I mean, the, the state of clear is somebody who is uh, never likely to get sick. Uh, he has a perfect memory. Uh, it's even intimated, and this was in 1950 when there was no, is that he could be immortal. He may never die. Uh, it, it's pretty funny. And uh, so that's what the state of clear is. Uh, they define it as no longer has his own reactive mind, which is a rigged, rigged game to get somebody to take uh, OT levels, which is their real money maker. But the uh, 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 what, what, what? Oh, so I don't know. So clear. So, but you know, like I said, I've never. There's a guy on the internet apparently who's saying, "Yeah, I'll give you a million bucks if you can demonstrate OT. I'll give a million bucks to anybody who can demonstrate clear." There's no fucking clear. There's no clear. There's no clear. You know, I mean, just looking in Dianetics, there's no clear. Clear is basically. Uh, I mean, what are you kidding me? Clear. So I was like, if I get this, that's what I was going for. It's too good to be true. And that's basically it. That's, and that goes back to that feeling of loss is because, you know what it is? I'm sorry to say. See, and I'm, I'm actually realizing something for myself right now because this is, this is cathartic in, in a way for me. But it's, 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 it's the same feeling. That loss is the feeling that I got. Like, I'm no stupid guy. I grew up in New York City. And I mean, I, 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 I never got mugged. I mean, I know, and I've been through some serious bad neighborhoods. But I remember one time I was, uh, I was living on my own down in the village, and I saw this guy running across the street, and he had like a VCR. This is back when VCRs were a new thing, like a plasma TV or something. <laughs> and he's like, you know, he'd obviously stolen the thing, and he's like, you know, hey, you can have this for 50 bucks, right? And I bought it, took it home. And it was full of bricks and shit, you know, and I was fucking felt, I got conned. And that's the feeling of loss. Because I talk, it, it actually, going back, you're asking me about clear, it's a con. It's a con. And uh, like any, and, and you know, it's an interesting, th I mean, this is way segueing, but this is something I don't know if it'll be, it's interesting, is that, you know, there's a book that uh, LRH wrote called The History of Man. And he talks about a lot of these traps that can catch a thetan, which is something that has no matter in history, space, time, or location, but it can catch a thetan. But he's got interest and curiosity, right? And, uh, and, so, uh, and so there's these things called theta traps. And so, uh, and, and the best theta traps are ones that the thetan runs on autopilot. Like if I'm trying to enslave somebody, the last thing I want to do is have to worry about fucking 
you know, keeping the key and the lock and, uh, you know, the best traps, you get a guy to just keep himself in jail, right? And that's what Scientology does. You just keep yourself in jail. And that you, you know, that's it. You, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect theta trap because, you, you know, you believe it and you are investing your time and your money. And so it's, you know, you can't be a fool. That's too much to confront, you know? When you were a kid, you were saying you were able to look at your dad or your uncle and you could really perceive them and understand them and know them. Yeah. When you looked around at the people in, in the org and, and you trusted them, do you, do you think there, there was a misperception there or uh, were you? Well, I tell you, I got to be honest, is that the more I got in, the stupider I got. That's my, as I get out, that's my perception. The less... I mean, Christ, you don't even ask questions. I mean, that's what I was trying to remember the other day that, that I was going to say that I had forgotten. Like this thing, I, I got into, they made me as commissioner of CCHR. I'm talking to Tori. Um, and, and, and the CCHR is? Because Citizens Commission on Human Rights is a way to try and destroy psychiatry and psychology. And I was like, fine, I don't give a shit. And uh, so, you know, they put my name on their stationery and fine, they got me out of an ethics cycle or something. So I say, okay. And, uh, but I, I would go and I, and, I, and I always had questions, you know, because I, I, would, I would, you know, even L. Ron Hubbard, you know, he would always call the psychs and he would rail about them and how terrible they are and they're the sole course of destruction. But he would never, I kept saying, you know, his own technology says that's a generalization, the psychs. Who? Psychs on the whole track. That means all psychiatrists for billions of years in the history of theta. You know, it's like, it's so general, and that would be a, that's a, that's a, that's a, a characteristic of a suppressive person is one who speaks in generalities. And another one is somebody, a, a person who has overts, which are, which are sins or crimes committed, is somebody who's, uh, you know, antagonistic or angry, and he seemed very antagonistic and angry about sex. So I was thinking he must have, you know, overts on him, and he's speaking about him in generalities. But the thing about, I was thinking about that, that I went over to CCHR and got, tours ad infinitum by the, the directors, this woman, Jan Eastgate, and I would ask questions and she'd write me up in ethics chits and shit, and I said, fine, yeah, I got the question, I don't fucking know. But I would say, if you want me to represent Scientology's viewpoint, and you go to their museum, it's all the psychs are bad, the psychs are bad, this is a bad thing, and Hitler, and they're responsible for child pornography and rape, and it's all the psychs. And I say, okay, that's their viewpoint. I say, but if I'm going to get into a discussion, you know, if you want to prepare me to be in, uh, a spokesman for this shit, I got to know the other side. So, and I kept asking, can you give me the other side? And they won't give it to you. And every time I would push it, I'd be like, honey, there's no way to get into the argument. They, they, you know, they're not, if it's all this is true, there wouldn't be anything. I got to know their viewpoint. How am I going to win the argument? You know what I mean? And they wouldn't give me the viewpoint. And, it's, it, it, and, and it was like, and then they started to write me up because I'm, I'm, I'm doubting. I'm not saying I'm doubting or nothing. I'm just waiting for the data, which is this whole big thing about learning how to think correctly is this other course called the data series. And the, basically, you have to get all the data. They won't give you any fucking data on certain things, and especially about this. There's nothing written in all the tomes of Scientology about psychiatry. Nothing other than the psychs are responsible for all your sexual problems because they implanted you as a thetan 10 years ago. And I realized that on my research of OT10. Oh, well, then it must be true because LRH says it's so. I mean, it's, 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 it's really, you see how you, at a certain point you get conned. And I would say, where's the fucking data? I'd say to everybody. And they'd show you, and nobody's allowed to tell you anything. So they pull out a reference. They always pull out this fucking reference called pain and sex. And there's like, he's talking about pain and sex are these things that, that are really just dogging people and bothering them. And it's, it's a really difficult thing that we're trying to help you with in Scientology. And basically, there's a, maybe two sentences in there where Ellerate says, through my research on the whole track of OT something or other, I just discovered that this is all because of Sykes. And that's the reference they tell you, 
to prove that the fucking Hitler and rape is a thing. And I'm like, honey, that doesn't quite handle it. You know, but they don't get it. Now, I look at this as an outsider. And, and to me, and I don't have a vast knowledge of this, but it seems like the psychiatric field sprung forth in, in the 1800s, or uh, not, uh, not, you know, thousands of years ago or millions of years ago. How are there psychs on the whole track because if uh, there see, weren't psychs? No, well, because now the latest, these are the evil people. These are the evil beings, actually. These are the evil beings. And they've been around, they, you know, like you hear about Xenu and all that shit. Xenu was a psych. You got it? So he just he wasn't, wasn't a doing practicing psychiatry. psychiatrist. No, he was practicing Xenuism. You got it? Gotcha. Now they're called psychs. So yeah, you I better remember. beware. I remember one time Am I, I visited. Right? <laughs> Fuck me. One, <laughs> one time I visited the Celebrity Center um, and, and it just walked in uh, late at night and looked around and said, well, what goes on in here? Right. And they, um, they, they woke up the projectionist to show me the orientation. Oh, nice. I had yeah. my own private screening that uh -huh. night. And they had some poor Sea Org kid, maybe 15, 16 year old, years old, babysitting me in the theater. Right. We well, you're not allowed to watch the movie alone. Right. Well, I was. You're not allowed yeah. to do what? Because you get, get an MU. Like he was watching to make sure you didn't have any lack of mass kind of shit. And he was making small talk before that. And he right. was saying, well, you know, uh, you remember the Salem witch trials? Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, it was the Sykes behind that. <laughs> well, I, I don't think there were psychiatrists back then. And he went, oh, no, 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 no not the Sykes. I mean the, uh, uh, the pharmaceutical companies. Oh, dear goodness. No, not quite. See, these are the kids, you just gotta, you know, you dash off a get well soon card and, and that's about it, because it's, it's sad, you know, that's, and that's, that's and, and you know, this is the interesting thing. This is the, and it goes back to, uh, you know, to answer further the question of, you know, what did you perceive? You, uh, what I perceived, and I, and I kind of avoided the question by saying I got stupider, but let me tell you something, these are good people. These are these are, these are some of the best people you can meet. These are people who really want to help. They're willing, I mean, they're willing to give up their entire life and their own personal ambition to help others. You know, that's a, that's a pretty rare, uh, and, 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 and generally you would say, you know, it's a, it's a pretty decent person. That, that, that's the thing, they, and you know, and I would say, I'm, 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 I'm not a bad person, you know? If I saw me walking around there, I'd say, okay, he's okay, you know? Uh, but when you say you got stupider, how do you think that happened? Well, what? well the, in my opinion, again, and I'm, I'm only out of Scientology about a year or so, less, less than a year, uh, officially. Um, but uh, in my opinion, what, I, what I've gathered as I, as I wake up, you know, it's a funny thing in Scientology, you feel as though you're waking up to the truth, the reality, or what really is. But what you're doing is waking up to the reality of Scientology, which is that, not the actual, the reality, which is the, the, the agreed upon universe of what is. And, um, and, and basically, in my opinion, in my opinion, the, 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 the best thing you can be is yourself. And, and, and that's who you are. And that, you know, there's, there's degrees to which you can actually become yourself. And, and that's probably what the whole spiritual interest is. I, I, you know, I, for me, I don't really know. But what, what, what Scientology, the trick of it is, it, 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 it makes you feel as though you're sold that you're actually becoming yourself, but what you're actually becoming is, my name's Jason Begay. I was becoming Jason Begay the Scientologist, rather than just, not even Jason Begay, but me. And the trick is, and you say, how do you fall for this shit? Go back to my first fucking win. Because it's me. It's me, and, I, and so there is, there is you. But then it's you are through 
I can't explain it. Pressure of the group or I can't, this is the thing I'm trying to get. Because I've never been like a guy, well, I got to get a pair of those shoes because everybody's wearing them. I, I, it's not been, I've been always, oh, I got to find my own if everybody's wearing those things. But it's like, and maybe that's how I got out to some degree is that I always try, you know, I mean, I'm not saying I had never, you know, you know, bought a BMW or whatever the fuck people want to do, you know, but it's like, it's, it, it, it to me, it, it, it gives you a way of thinking that, to, at least for me and from what I observe of others, is not native to that actual, that person. I think, as I said before, in my opinion, I suspect, I'm no Dalai Lama, but I think that the best thing you can be is yourself. And that if you can do that truthfully, it'll be beautiful and successful and, and interesting. I don't know about success, like how you define it, but it'll be a worthwhile time spent. And, uh, and, and what happens is you, you, you are sold, and you, the, again, the trap is good because you sell it to yourself. Because you, if you're not on course, you're wanting to be on course, or you should be on course, you've got your own self in jail. It's an autopilot gig. It's quite good. I think there's some hypnotism in there or something. I don't quite know, but it's quite surprising. And, uh, and, and so at the end of the thing, you end up being, you know, you know like here's an example. You start the ethics technology. So you start thinking, okay, and you start thinking in terms of the conditions of existence that he laid out and that these are behaviors. And so you, now you're not just going, you know what the fuck, I think I need to take a walk and I think I got to become, uh, I'm going to be, a, you know, an insurance salesman and that's my truth. You know, it's, you know, you have to go through these steps and do this. It's like retarded. It's not, it's not true. It's not true. You know, and I did ethics cycles and conditions, and they, nothing changed. I've seen people who've done them, and they've changed. So I don't know, you know, whatever. You know, but there's a placebo effect. I don't quite know. Tori, how many times did you do the PTSSP course? Uh, you know, it's like on and on and on. You have to, every time you go PTS, which is the human condition, you got to do the course over and do this shit. Let me tell you something. It's, it's a, that's another racket. PTS. I'm not sure if we got PTS description PTS on camera. PTS is potential trouble source. So all injury, accident, and illness. Listen to those three words. All. All. Injury, accident, illness. Ow. Oh. Is all because of PTS. Everything. Everything negative that happens is because of PTS, which means you are a P potential T trouble S source. Wow, that sounds weird, a potential trouble source. So in other words, not only did you just slip and, 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 and split your lip, but you better get away from this guy because if you're near him, you're gonna split your lip too and your business is gonna fail. He's a potential trouble source. So you gotta take him out. It's like he's got, you know, it's like you don't come to school with the flu. This is what it, this is like the spiritual flu. So it's like heavy shit. And now there's only one reason that you are a potential trouble source. One reason is that you're connected to an SP, which is a suppressive person. Now this is the two and a half percent of awful people like Tori <laughs> who are fucking it up for the rest of us. Good people. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, Oh, it's a funny thing. It's funny. You know, the, you know, as I zip around, my best friend, this is my best friend. I mean, like, this is a guy that I was, in ninth grade, I met this guy. And like, I saw this guy, came to my school in ninth grade, and I, said, I saw this guy, and I, and I, and I was a gregarious kind of kid, and he was new, and I saw him. And I said, you know something? You and I are going to be friends. I think that's the first thing I ever said to him. And, uh, and I was right. And he's a big famous actor now. And uh, an amazing guy, David Duchovny. And uh, 
And uh, David, my best friend, I mean, I'm talking about a friend, uh, our relationship was adversely affected by my being in Scientology. He was very cool, you know, but he wasn't into it. He wasn't, he was happy for me. He never gave me any fucking thing about it, you know, but, uh, and I think his wife, you know, I, per I, I, you know, I perceived that, you know, she was a little bit more like, like that. At any rate, our, uh, and they were right.